In this video, we're going to take a look at integrating Gravity Forms with Divi. So we're going to talk about uh, inserting our forms into Divi, and then we're going to talk about two different options that we can use to uh, make our forms look good within Divi. One through inheriting styles, and the second using a plugin to kind of manage how Gravity Forms looks. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a basic contact form using Gravity Forms. So here we are on our form builder. I'm just going to do this really quickly. We're going to do a single line text. We're going to do a paragraph text and we're going to do an email field. So we're just going to create a very basic contact form. We'll call this name, email and message, right? So we have a very basic contact form with Gravity Forms. And now I'm going to create a quick page with Divi and I'm just going to import a layout from Divi, their contact page, just to kind of make it simple. So we'll publish our contact page. We'll open this up in the visual builder. I'm going to import one of their page layouts for contact and then I'm going to replace the Divi form with my Gravity form. So first I'm going to go in here. I'm going to grab their contact us page, which looks pretty nice. And I'm just going to save that. So now I have my basic contact page and I want to remove this form. I'm just going to delete it and I'm going to add in a text module. And now what we're going to do is we're going to paste in using a short code. We're going to paste in our form. And so I'll put this short code below this video so you know how to use it. Uh, but I'll just paste it in now so you can see what it looks like. So because uh, Divi doesn't have an exact integration with Gravity Forms, so using the text module, even if we're using the visual builder in the text, we don't have a way to insert Gravity Forms. Hopefully that's something they'll add in at some point, but for the moment we have to use the short code. So if I post the, if I paste the short code into my text editor, and you can see here, I'll post it below, Gravity Form ID equals one, title equals false, description equals false, Ajax equals true. So if you inserted a Gravity form into a normal WordPress page, you probably recognize these options. So if you want the title and description of the form in there, you can change those to true. The Gravity form ID equals, if you go to your list of forms, it's going to have a column for ID. Just take that number for the form that you want to insert and replace it here and replace it here under Gravity form ID equals. That's where you're going to want to pop that in. Uh, hit on the OK or the check mark and you're going to see your form. So we'll just click that. So right out of the box, obviously that Divi form looked a lot better than our standard Gravity form. And we can mess around with our rows and stuff like that using the Gravity form uh, CSS ready uh, CSS classes. But let's say just in general, we wanted it to look a lot better. What we're going to do is the first option is that there is a plugin specifically made to match up Gravity Forms with Divi. And we can install that directly through the repository. Just click on Add New and search for Divi Gravity. And the first one that pops up, it's Serma Divi and Gravity Form. And this is the one that I normally use. And so we'll just click on Install Now. And I'll put a link to this plugin, but again, you can also uh, install it right through the WordPress repository. So now that we have Serba Divi and Gravity Forms, if I go back to my page and I refresh it, you're going to see right out of the box, it's now styled my forms to match the rest of Divi. So probably what we would want to do is we'd probably want our name and our email to be on one line and we would have our message box, but you can do all that using the CSS ready classes, but you can see right up, it styles my form fields, it styles my submit button, and that's all going to match the rest of my site. So that's a really kind of set it and forget it way to just do the basic uh, styling uh, that matches Divi. But if you wanted to get a little bit more complex than that, then we would use a separate plugin, which I will also link to. And that is this plugin here, Styles and Layouts Gravity Forms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deactivate the Serma Divi and Gravity Forms. I'm going to activate the Styles and Layouts Gravity Forms. And let me just make sure I'm going to reload my page and now it should go back to my default styling. So now we're back, right? So I'm going to save this page. And how this other plugin works is it works directly through the WordPress customizer. So I'm going to go into my customizer. 
theme customizer and I'm going to load up my contact page so I can see it live All right and now I'm going to scroll down and go to styles and layouts gravity forms select gravity form select my contact form And now it's gonna give me all of these different options. So you can see this one is a little bit more complex, but you have a lot more control over the styling. So let's just go, um, for example, I'll go into my text fields, all right? Because we have a couple of those and I can change the width. And so obviously that's a bit too far, but you can kind of see how I can change them and I'm gonna be able to see how it looks immediately on the live preview. And I can do other things like I can do, uh, for example, a margin. So if I do five picks, it's gonna add a margin onto there. I can add a border, so I can go two pixel border. I can change the border color. So let's say I wanted that to be red or, or blue or whatever it is. I can put in padding, so I can say 10 picks padding. And so that makes my form fields a little bit bigger. Let me go back. I can do, I can do a border radius. So for example, if I wanted my form fields to be rounded, I can put in a border radius there. I'm not sure if you can see that. So I'll just make it a little bit more obvious. We'll do 10 picks. So you can see I have my, my border radius here, uh, but let's just do that. Let's say four pixels and let's change my border to something a little less highlighted. A little bit a little less dramatic we'll do something like that and again we can change the size of our borders uh, we can change the padding so how large the fields are within our content and we can change the width and the height so using this and we can do that with all of the different kinds of form fields we can also do it with the header and the wrapper and so you can play around with these options to really style Gravity Forms really well using a plugin. It has a live preview right through the customizer. And so this may work a little bit better for you getting the exact kind of style that you want. We can style our submit button. And so if you have a really kind of a, a well-built form and you really wanted to style it to match the rest of your design, then this plugin is really great. If you want more of a set it and forget it plugin to just kind of match the default Divi styles, then we can have that first plugin. So uh, that's as easy as it is to kind of style Gravity Forms within Divi to match the rest of our design. I will link both of those plugins below this video so you can check them out. They're both free plugins uh, by you know great developers that release them for free. So check those out. If you do have any questions or comments, just go ahead and post in the forums and I will try to help you out.